Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. Welcome to another Remnant from the Ashes video. In the first video we took a look at character creation in the very beginning of the story. It's kind of a uh, post-apocalyptic fantasy sort of a setting. Action RPG. And at the end of that first part our character was badly injured by some creatures and lost consciousness but was saved by some other humans. So that is where we will pick up right here. Let's take a look. Oh, you're awake. Hi there. Whoa, take it slow. You got hurt real bad. You don't want to start bleeding again, do you? Ward 13. It's safe here. Maybe the only safe place there is. I'm Wallace. I, I wanted to see you. I asked the commander if I could. Oh, Commander Ford and Mr. Riegler found you outside. They brought you here. But they said... They said Mark wasn't coming back. But he's... Was... Never mind. The commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. I'll see you later. This is a fairly lengthy journal here. It's probably worth reading, uh, but I'm going to skip past it here just for the sake of speeding things along. We we're supposed to go talk to the commander, uh, and right here at the beginning of the game, there are no markers on your radar, so it actually took me quite a while to f stumble across this room over here. Well, well, look who's awake. You put up quite a fight outside our gates. I'm Commander Ford. This is my base, and you, friend, are an unexpected guest. It's my job to know the kind of people I bring into Ward 13. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for weeks you will tell me why you were really out there or we'll let the root have you hmm. no one has been in that tower in a very long time but you've got no chance of getting there in this storm truth is the ward has been cut off we had to block the gates after we dragged you in. The root are everywhere. But now that you're here, I have an idea. I'll tell you what. You want to leave? You'll have to do something for us first. First, we need power. That storm knocked out our reactor recently. With enough power, we might be able to activate another way out of here. It's not a door, exactly. And it may not even work. The reactor is on the lower basement level. There's a stairwell that leads down to it. Get it running, then come back here. <laughs> Nothing around here is easy. Watch your back. We already lost a man down there a few days ago. I suspect the Root have found a way in. Go check in with Riggs. About your blade. I don't imagine your fists will do much against the Root. You do this for us, and I'll make sure you get out of here. 
Now I'm supposed to go talk to a guy about getting my sword back that I had at the beginning of the game. And then I'm supposed to find a reactor. But we still don't have markers on our little mini-map up there in the upper right-hand corner. So just like when I was trying to find the commander, it took me a long time to find where I needed to go. Hey, it's good to see you on your feet again. Uh, welcome to Ward 13. I did what I could to patch you up. You seem like a tough one, though. <laughs> Name's Rigler. <laughs> Most everyone calls me Riggs. Well, your uh, sword mm, was pretty banged up in the fight. Not much I could do with it, I'm afraid. The blade was shattered when we found you. Mostly scrap metal at this point. I think I remember Ace mentioned she found a few weapons out in the city. Maybe she'll help you out. Well, uh, last I heard, Ace went down to check out the reactor. Good luck down there. to see a new face around here. from <sighs> you nearly scared the life out of me no one else wandering around down here uh you're not from around here are you name's ace ace cotterell you Is that right well you found it starting that relic could mean trouble though so you ever start a reactor well it makes a lot of noise for starters Lucky for you, just the press of a button on the terminal above us. Would have done it myself, but without knowing what might come sniffing around. With the two of us, though, maybe we got a chance. Okay, so I have an idea. You go upstairs and start the reactor. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. You probably need a weapon, huh? Let's see if I can find you something. So at this point, you choose your beginning archetype. This doesn't lock you onto a certain path. It's just what you start with, but you can end up getting all these same uh, mods and weapons and everything. But here's the hunter who's a long range combat sort of a guy. He's got a hunting rifle. He's got a uh, repeater pistol and a scrap sword. And he has a mod that will mark enemies for him and his teammates. You have the ex-cultist, who is a medium range combat character, support character. He's got a what's called a coach gun. It seems to be a shotgun, uh, a sturdy repeater pistol, and a scrap hatchet. And his mod is called Mender's Aura, which is an area of effect healing. And then the scrapper is close range. He has a shotgun. I guess a different type of shotgun. He's got the sturdy repeater pistol and the scrap hammer and his mod is called Hot Shot and it makes his ammo do fire damage. I'm gonna go with the ex-cultist. There, that should improve our odds. Get up there and start the reactor. But like I said, you're not stuck once you choose an archetype. It's not like choosing a class in other games where you're just stuck with that class fairly early on you get the opportunity to to unlock the mods that those other characters start with 
Get up there and start the reactor. Yeah, I heard you. I'm on my way. Get off me. First time I played through this, more of the creatures appeared on this upper level, so it, it looks like things don't always play out the same way every time, which is cool. Hey, stay focused. We're not done yet. Oh, a little friendly fire there. Sorry about that, lady. Do it. You fought good. Real good. Ford made the right choice sending you down here. You best go check in with Ford. Come visit my shop sometime, yeah? I'll make sure to give you the good in a fight discount. Okay, so I don't want to show too much of the story, but I will show a bit more. But for now, I'm going to leave off here. And we will pick up right here at the beginning of the next video. Thanks for watching.